<coughs> the last time we said that we have that we have different cases for each letter whenever we are talking about the letters from the point of view of being heavy or light we said that we have different cases and we said that we have different letters that is going to be dealt with with a special case we said we have three main categories right three main categories the first one is the heavy letters the heavy letters which are what are the heavy letters yes okay they are how many letters one two three four five six seven seven letters for for uh, for the heavy letters okay and the opposite we said that we have what light light what are the light letters the remaining all the letters except for the heavy letters and the temporary and heavy letters because we have heavy letters which are temporary heavy and light which are some special cases and then the remaining would be the rest of the letters okay if we're going to talk about the temporary heavy and light letters we said that we have four we have four cases we have four cases right the first one is what what is the first one lam in the exalted name of allah yes that's right the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is lam this lam it is supposedly sometimes it will take the form of heavy and that sometimes the form of light how we are going to talk about it today inshallah okay and then we said that we have what is this Wunna. what is Wunna? what is Wunna? yes that's a sound that comes out from the nose okay and this is actually is going to be related with we call it Wunna fil al we're going to talk about it, but not today. <coughs> and we said that there is one word that is very important to link it with this category, which is, which is what? I mentioned last time. You remember? When we should make the wunna to be heavy or light? For this case. Based on what? Based on the letter after this one. It's if heavy or following on the following. Right, yes. Yeah. So with this, remember that the key word here is what? Following. Following. Whenever there is a letter that is heavy coming after the wunna, so the wunna should be heavy. Heavy. And if the light letter comes after the wunna, then the wunna should be light. light. So the key word here is what? Following. Follow. Okay. Let's go to the alif, which is alif al madd Okay. Alif al -Mad. In Alif al -Mad, we said that it sometimes it will take the form of heavy or light one. And we said that the heavy case will be linked with, what is the key word here? Preceding. Yeah, that's right. Preceding. So here it is preceding. If the preceding letter is heavy, then the Alif should be heavy. And if the preceding letter is light, then the, ghunna, the Alif should be heavy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the beginning of the class always the people they have like mental lagging process so that at the minute you will find the people they are resonating with me. But in the beginning I know that we still trying to bring the people from from whatever they are thinking with. So anyway, and the last one is half ra, okay? Ra, which is the and we're going to talk about it today, inshallah. Let's go in detail for each one of these cases. Okay. First one. Okay. So the first one, which is already we have, Sid, Hussa, Daltim, Qib, which is the heavy letters. Let's go directly to the mean, the way of pronouncing the heavy letters. The heavy letters have the quality of isti'la which is rising high, rising high. We said last time, what is the meaning of rising high? The what, 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 is, what is the relevance of mean rising? Rising what? The lower part of the mouth. The lower part? Of the mouth. Or the top or the, uh, the tip of the tongue? Tip of the tongue. Lower part of the mouth. Sure, I said to you that I'm going to say things and I'm going to say it mistakenly. 
So it is neither the lower part nor the tip. It is the what? Yeah, the back part of the tongue. So you didn't study life, right? You didn't study. I said many <laughs> review it. But no, nobody said. It. If you just read this, so rising high, because why pronouncing them a part of the tongue, mostly that the back part rises up to the roof, makes the little sound here. Okay? Qala, for example. Okay? Qama. Okay. al huruf al the light letters. The light letters. All the letters other than the heavy letters and the temporary and heavy light letters supposedly to be under this category. And what is the meaning of light letter? What will happen with the tongue? What, did the, what will happen? Yes, yes. It stays down or it goes down. <coughs> After that, <coughs> The way of pronouncing the light letters, as we said, the light letters have the quality of istifal. Istifal means falling down by lowering the tongue when pronouncing the light letter. Let's go to alif al mat. The quality of alif al mat being heavy or light depends on the letter. What here? You see the alif al mat. So all this definition. Just remember, because our memory always is associated. Our memories are associated. It means what? We are not going, after two days or three days, you are, you are going to lose all of these lines. Okay? You are going to remember only one thing, which is what? The keyword. Okay? Even that in your, in your study, not in, in the tweet, in general. Always link whatever you are studying with kind of keywords, key thoughts, key ideas. And try to put them and highlight them. Okay. Some people, they are, whenever they are studying, they are highlighting all the lines. <laughs> all the lines. <laughs> and putting line under all the lines. So actually, there is nothing to... <laughs> it's everything. So try to, whenever, for example, here, put, highlight this word, preceding, that's it. Okay? And for the ghunna, for the ikhfa. Uh, sorry, this is for the alif al mat. I want to give some examples. example, if we are for example, if we say قال and الناس okay, so here where is Alif al Mat here? This one, right? And here in Ness, where is the Alif al -Mat? This one, right? So in this case, we should always look into following or preceding? Preceding. Yeah. Preceding. Yes, in this case, it is? Qa. So in how we are going to pronounce? Qa. 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 Okay? Qa. 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 Here, Ness. This is Alif al Mat and it's preceded by Noon. Noon from Proof. Istifat. right? Istifat. Noon from Proof. Istifat. So in this case, we should say An Nas. An Nas. An Nas. Okay, so this is the case for Alif al Mat. <coughs> Let's go to the Ghunna. And actually, I think this is not right, it's not page 20, third, it should be page 18 and 19, so you can modify it. For example, First of all, meaning and shattered. Okay? Meaning and shattered. Where is the where is the where is the Hunna place? 
here. We're going to talk about it later, inshallah. So this is the Ghunna place here. And the following letter is Sheen. Sheen from Haruf. Is what? Istifal. Yes, that's right. This is from Haruf and Istifal. In this case, we should always, whenever we make the Ghunna, it should be what? Light. Light. Yes. Okay, now you, I, I'm sure that you cannot know how to pronounce it correctly, but again, we are not saying min. There is no noon. Okay, in the as we're going to talk later, later, inshallah, there is no noon will come out. It is one. So as if that you are not pronouncing noon and saying only one. And after that, you are looking to the letter after it. Okay. In this case, you are going to pronounce it like this: min shari, min shari, Yes, min shari. That's right. In this case, min ba, min ba, min ba. This is the noon where the ghunna supposedly to be here. It is followed by ba from proof. Istifad. In this case, we are going to make this ghunna to be light. Light. In this case, which is the third example, an taba. An taba. Noon, this is the ghunna here, and ta, it is from proof. Okay. So in this case, we are going to make the ghunna to be heavy. It will be Clear? Now? You understand it? So this is related to the ghunna for ikhfa al Inshallah, we are going to talk about it in detail later also. So what, what I have explained now, this is only an example for you. Maybe you are not aware of how exactly that you are going to pronounce. Yes? Can you say in your previous lecture you mentioned about when there is a hunna, there is to be echo on that letter. But here I see no, uh, echo, no echo sound. But I didn't mention about echo in, in this. Echo in what? What the is the quality? The, the, sound the, the, the quality that we mentioned about for for echoing? Qalqala. Qalqala. Yes? What are the letters of the Qalqala? Qut. Right? What is the condition of the Qalqala? Sukun. Sukun. Right? Sukun. So whenever we have harf sakin, we are going to have this harf to be sakin. In this case, there is an echo here. Okay? But whenever that we have nun sakina or tanwil, if you are talking about, for example, ta, in this case, there is no Qalqala here. There is no Qalqala here. Because, first of all, this is not second. And second, there is something else which is stronger that we should look after, which is al ghunna or nun is second. Okay? So inshallah, next class we're going to talk about the nun is second and tanwi, which is the most dominant kind of ruling in the in the in the Quran. Okay? So here there is no echoing, there is no suku. Even that you are talking about kind of put jet letters which are the qalqala but here we are forgetting about the qalqala okay it's a good question okay <coughs> after that the rules of lamb the exalted name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay here we have The rules of Lam exalted the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one of the temporary qualities. So we have three different subtitles here or three different divisions. The first one, when always the love and jalala or the lamb in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be heavy. Okay? For example, I would give the example first and then inshallah I would explain. So here whenever we say this word, which is Wallahu, 
Allah. Okay. Look here, I say Allah. 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 Okay. Look for this example. Yasha Allah. Yasha Allah. Look here. Subhanak Allah. Subhanak Allah. Subhanak Allah. Qalu Allah. Qalu Allah. Qalu Allah. Okay. Let's go to the next example and I will give the difference. Billahi. 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 Lillahi. 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 Dinillahi. Dinillahi. What is the difference between the two? From your own point of view? The first one is him. Yes. And the second one, the second set of examples are light. What is the Vivian light here? It is the lamb. Lamb inside the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the light or heavy letter. And makes the whole word to be light or heavy. What is the what is the ruling? The ruling is as you can see here. If there is a fatha or dhamma before the word of Allah or Allahumma, then lam in Allah will be heavy. Okay. If we have what or what fatha or dhamma. What is in Urdu in in Zabar and Beish? Page. 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 Okay, Zabar and Page. <laughs> so here, Page. look here. Wow, it is Fatha. There is Fatha here. Yasha'a. What is here? Fatha as well. I would zoom. You can see? I would zoom. Good. Here, this is what? Fatha. And here, this one is Fatha also. Right? Let's go here. Subhanak Allahumma. This is Kaf. Okay. And there is Fatha here. And same. Qalullahumma. Where is the Fatha here? Qalullahumma. This is Dhamma or Fatha? Where? Where is the Dhamma here? Because of the vowel. Yeah, that's right. The, the, the meaning here of Fatha and Dhamma means that you are. You are the the mouth is going to make the sound of a lot, okay? Which is U. So whenever you have this sound U before Allah or Allahumma in general, then Lafzul Jalala or the word or the lamb in Lafzul Jalala should be him. So here there is no Dhamma actually. There is what? Wow, which is the main sound of U. Okay? So in this case, this is him. Okay? This is him. So this is the first example, or the first case, which is when Lafd al-Jalala is Mufakh. The other case, which is Lafd al-Jalala is Muraqqa. From your own point of view, what is the ruling here? What is the... Kasra. Yes, that's right. The ruling is the existence of Kasra, before the word of Allah. By Billahi al-Ba Maksur. There is Kasra. Zabak. Right? Zayn. So Zabar Fatha, Peish Dhamma, and Zayn. Zayn. So which language are, are they from? Uh, which it's, one? It's Persian, I think. This one? Yes. Persian? These words. Yeah, I think these are Persian. Ah, this is even not in Orla? No, it's not. It's not. Zabar, Peish, Zayn. So Zayn here. There is Zayn, which is Kasra. Lillahi, Lam, in the first in the first lamb, it's maksura. Actually, it is half jar. We call it half jar. means that it's a, like a preposition in, in English. So in this case, lillahi, this lamb is maksura. Then we are going to make the second lamb is light. Lillahi. Here, the same. Li lillahi, noon is maksura. And Allah, this is love and jalala. And this is the noon maksura. So we say, di nillahi. 
Dinillah. Dinillah. And then, Kulilla. 